So P5X's demo came out and had a trial phase a few days ago. During this trial, many different Chinese gamers wrote guides and reviews about it. But due to the whole isolation of the Chinese internet from us, many of these guides and reviews cannot be seen by the Western eye. So today I will be sharing what insightful information these gamers have found with the rest of the world. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. Quick thing before we begin here. To the background footage that is being used in this video is by user Winter Feather Sea Cat from the Chinese forums, who is fighting against a hard boss using a pretty stacked team from the description they gave. The background music is the new track by Win for this game, and I thought it sounded pretty cool and fit with the whole Persona vibes, you might as well use the new music. So I tried to choose articles that were written and were insightful in ways I haven't seen the West really look at. So we have three new articles for today's video. One is a general review from Yasuki, which explains their thoughts on the demo as a whole, but specifically explaining very individual parts of the demo that really haven't been reviewed. Um, the other is an explanation of the collaborator system by Flower in the Fog, explaining the perks of each character, kind of an informative article. And then finally is a detailed explanation of the differences in combat between P5 and P5X by D. Wan. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Yasuki begins his review with proving he has been a long time player of the Persona series, before going into details regarding this demo. He proves this by showing a bunch of playtime on other P5 games and, and Persona as a whole. So he states the following. There are still some shortcomings, such as the interaction in the scene. Since UP uses the PC side, I don't know how the mobile phone users feel but at least I feel that the interaction is very rigid and doesn't have the feeling of the original, showing that this new version is a bit of a watered down experience. He then gives some general information about the map, telling us that for some reason the production team changed the original LeBlanc to another coffee shop, and the owner inside is a completely different character, which is a tragedy. I'm really sad to hear this. Continuing, he goes into details regarding the gotcha system which is the thing a lot of us are very worried about and that the demo doesn't really show a lot of. He states the following. In terms of card drawing, since it's an internal test, there will be no card pool to open. Game props are all obtained from events, game props re relating to the items required to obtain characters. Our original protagonist group can be redeemed through mission-like points. Unfortunately, P5X seems to be only connected to the original version, and there are no characters in the Royal Edition and Glorious Warriors Edition. He looks forward to a possible addition of those characters in the future, meaning P5X only has characters from the original P5 at the moment, but he hopes that in the future they will add more characters from other editions of P5, and possibly other characters, period. He then goes into the 5-star community system, stating, What's interesting is that the 5-dimensional system still exists, but it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the community for the time being. Maybe because I haven't played for too long, I haven't encountered the need for five dimensions. The method of adding five dimensions is still the same as the original. Work, working part-time, taking a bath, studying, and so on. So the five-star system is returning, and he is unsure of what it will have to do with this current title, but he does say that it is back and works very similar to how it used to work. The specific critics I uh, felt gave a more honest look into the demo, and some of the issues and nitpicks that Chinese users feel rather than what has been getting highlighted on the internet elsewhere. I just felt like it was something that was a little insightful to show y'all. But from here we can move into the collaborator system review by Flower in the Fog. Flower's very helpful review states all of the abilities of the main confidence and how to get them. Starting with Luffy, he has a lot of exploration skills in different worlds, and he can teach you how to make infiltration props. You can be unlocked by completing the Novus plot. Next is Mario, which can provide you with more Velvet Room services, allowing the creation of more powerful personas. She is unlocked by completing the mission, Enter the Velvet Room. Next is Suha Arai, which can teach you various baseball skills, which can improve performance in baseball challenges. To me, this one was a little weird because it, I don't know, kind of seems like a pointless ability. Flower didn't say so in their review, so maybe in the demo there is a lot of practical uses for playing baseball. I, I just don't know how that compares to use-wise to the other confidence, and I don't know why anyone would spend time grinding Suarai when they can just, I don't know, anyone else that's more helpful. But I, 
I trust the Chinese user here in saying that it's equal. Um, to unlock her, complete the mission, talk to Yuyuki Kokichi. Finally, is Riko Takanura, who can help you reach new places that are difficult for new people to get, normal people to get to, which lets you go shopping with your favorite confidence. To unlock her, you need to complete the side mission, Plum and Sunflower. Flower then finishes this general sum summary with a quick summary of how to improve reputation with your confidence in this new title. You want to quickly increase the intimacy of your collaborators, you need to date the collaborators, and then send gifts in their hands. When there is a special date to deepen the relationship, please deal with the appointment message in time, and you can break through the upper limit of a level in stages, basically increase your overall reputation with a character by breaking through some hard caps by completing some specialty limited time events. So it seems like dating confidence will be an important feature from what Flower is saying, but we will have to wait for the full release to be sure. Now we close off with Dr. Yuan's guide to the differences between P5s and P5X's combat system. This is something I was particularly interested in because I haven't seen a lot of very step-by-step -step methodological, you know, very objective-based summaries of the differences. And I, I wanted to ex re read his because his is exactly that. It's a very detailed analysis that explains how the two are different. So I will read that now. First, he covers the differences in how attack order works. The, attack, the action order of P5X is not based on speed like the original game, but based on order of the formation. The action order of our side and the action order of the enemy are both from the first position, and the people after the action are directly ranked at the end of the action order. When a sneak attack is successful, all members from our team will start to act for one round, they'll attack first, and then all enemies will attack for one round, so they'll get a response attack. On the contrary, when our side is attacked, when we are attacked, when we enter the battle, our side and the enemy will act alternating. For example, after our number one attacks, the no enemy number one will attack, followed by our number two's action. If the team uses knockdown as the main tactic, you need to consider the timing of the enemy's actions and stand up to arrange the order of your team's actions to compensate for that. At the same time, there are also skills in the game that advance your own action order and delay the enemy's action order. So it seems like a lot of team composition building will be required, much like the original Persona. Next, he covered the One More system, stating the following. Much like in the original P5, when we defeat the enemy, we can choose a teammate to use One More attack. The difference is that the selected person will have a fixed attack attribute correlating to their corresponding mask, and will automatically select the target to attack. Priority, those who are standing have weaknesses over those who have fallen and have no weaknesses who are prioritized over other players. At the same time, P5X has increased the down value similar to P5S. It needs to be cause weak or critical or technical multiple times to make the enemy fall to the ground. You can continue to choose other enemies to chase, but teammates who have participated in one more in this round cannot chase, similar to the original version. One person can only change hands once. At the same time, when the enemy defeats one of our members, instead of performing one more attack, they can act again. Finally, he covered lockdown, highlighting, and all-out attacks, stating the difference from the original is that the down person can only stand up when it is his turn to act, and will still fall down after being attacked or the total attack, and cannot be knocked down again. However, the knockdown state itself does not have much negative impact at present, including invasion, etc., or can all be carried out normally. This mean, mainly affects the frequency of one more and total attacks on both sides of the enemy and us. In particular, it is now possible to make multiple total attacks in a big round, or a long round. And he explains that saying, if an enemy stands up after a total attack and is directly knocked down, he can probably attack again. But in order to make good use of this mechanism, adjusting the sequences of actions and your team order is required. So that closes out. Daiwan's guide on the differences between the two games. I felt it was pretty insightful. I wanted to share these three Chinese guides so us Westerners could get a look inside to how the Chinese community is processing this demo, and hopefully you enjoyed their analysis. Overall, that's all I got for you. A little showcase of what the Chinese fans got that we don't. For more information releases in the future, know you'll hear it here. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast. I'll see you all next time.